Eya Asher Eya, Abba, El Shaddai, Adonai, and Emmanuel. Sound familiar? That's because those are some of the names for God. But wait, I thought there was only one name. Welcome to Mysteries of the Bible. In the Bible, God tells us his name many times. He uses different names to describe something about his character. It's important to know that God is pretty big and that one name doesn't fully explain who he is. Like Abba. To Jesus, God was like a loving father, tender, caring, and personal. This was like calling God Papa, something you would only call your own dad. Eya Asher Eya. When Moses was commanded to free the Israelites from Egypt, he asked God, what's your name? God said, Eya Asher Eya, which means I will be who I will be, the one who was, the one who is, and whoever will be. Or you couldn't wrap your mind around it. El Shaddai. When Abraham met God, Abraham was in his 90s, and God promised to provide Abraham with as many descendants as stars in the sky. God called himself El Shaddai then, which means Almighty Provider. Adonai. God knows what is best for us and expresses that in this name. It means Lord, Master, like a parent that wants us to listen to him. And then there's Emmanuel. This is a special one. It means God with us and is another name for Jesus. God became human not only to save us, but to live like us. So, God's name means so much more than just a word. It shows us his character, his identity, and what he's like. Think about that the next time you open your Bible. And maybe you'll find even more incredible names for God. Click the Kids Club channel to find more videos we know you'll love, and subscribe to see the newest stuff we make.